The fantasy of the agent story is working undercover missions, seducing assets, stealing information, performing assassinations, doing all the really sort of dirty work, all the black ops work that you can't hand over to a soldier. I've got them in my sights. I think the people who are going to enjoy playing the consular if you're, you know, more of the sort of explorer investigator. It's people who want to learn sort of maybe the secret history behind the galaxy, behind even some of the secrets of the Jedi. The ritual is a difficult one to learn, Jedi. I am ready, Master. You're a character who has unparalleled wisdom and insight. You're fighting a war on two battlefields, essentially. You're fighting, you know, the physical war for the Republic to save, to save lives. You're also fighting for the soul of the Republic. Would you risk your life to save a Voss outsider? I accept the dangers. The agent storyline is really interesting because you've got this whole galactic war going on unfolding around the player. You've got terrorist plots, you've got subtle nuances of you know, government politics, and the moral choices that the agent makes are but they're very interesting because you're not really sure where everyone's true allegiances lie. Uh, I think the consular's more sort of defensive. Uh, he's sort of unraveling all those plots. You're, you know, investigating things, finding the ancient lore that'll help you, and always kind of defending the Republic. A person who would enjoy playing the agent is someone who does not mind doing the dirty work for the Empire. In combat, it kind of plays the same way. The agent is a master control of the field that they're playing on. Uh, the console actually should appeal to a wide range of players, because he has a little bit of everything. He can be a really strong healer, he can defend his friends as a tank, or he can uh, just be a flat-out damage dealer, hurling rocks at things, telekinetics, and slicing things with his lightsaber. You're dealing with someone who has telekinetic abilities. You, you've got your, your Viber Knives, Force Healing, Sniper Rifles, Force Quake. In any duel between an agent and a consular, I'd have to give the edge to an agent. I'm trained to kill Jedi. The marksmanship sniper has the longest range in the game and he will completely dominate a player until they get into their attackable range. The agent is going to leg shot the sage, and then he's going to wind up his powerful attacks. Uh, he's going to start ambush, series of shots, snipe. He's got all these weapons at his disposal that he'll use to completely annihilate the sage. First thing I'm going to do is put up force armor, so I have an extra barrier of health to absorb whatever burst he's going to send my way. Next thing I'm going to do is hit him with force imbalance, which is the only ability I've got that can sort of hit him even at that long range. And that's going to suck some of his life away and give it to me. And hopefully that'll help me get through that first sort of spike of damage. Then I'll hit force speed and I'll run up to him. And uh, then that advantage of his is gone. The agent has, a, has the tools at his disposal. He has, you know, he has a short range stun. He has a flashbang. So I, what I want to do is cause him to think that he's winning and then counter him. An agent always wins with preparation. Close, but I think the consular. Obviously, the agent. Consular is definitely going to win.